All righty. Um, well, um, how nice. Uh, what a wonderful day. Let me uh, share my screen uh, and attempt to share my screen. All right. So, um, really, truly, what a great day. You know, so many great talks and so many great people. Um, I am really grateful to be able to make new friends among this wonderful roster and distinguished group of speakers, and also to see so many friends with us today in the audience. Uh, it was just really a heartening, uh, a heartening day, and I'm just so grateful. Um, the talks were all just so very good, all focused on different aspects of wellness teas. And um, you know, I love how the speakers referenced and drew upon each other's talks throughout the day. This is really a teaching and learning on exhibition and in practice. And uh, as a professor, of course, I really love to see that. One of the things that I thought about during the day uh, and during the talks was how, once again, we can see different ways that tea brings the world together and people together, whether it's Camellia sinensis or other herbals and wellness drinks. I loved how each wellness tea and tradition discussed is so unique and yet also um, there are some remarkable similarities. And so I was just struck about how lucky we are to live together in this world. What also was on display today was the enormous expertise of each one of our speakers in their individual fields. We got to see how these experts from across the disciplines in academia and industry and from around the world think about their subject matter. I was inspired and I hope you were too. We thank each and every one of these wonderful speakers, Nada Milosevic and Mary Mushiri in the morning, Eric Fausak and his team, Zoe Peralta Page, Gabby Tursol and Denise Dempsey, and Adam Siegel and Renee Bedard. And then also Christine Fulch and Hiroshi Yamada and our industry experts, Manique Jayakumar, Paul Harney, Amy Driscoll, Abby, Abby Ann Fala, just outstanding everyone. I would also like to remind you that the talks were recorded today and after processing will be available on, on the GTI website. So if you wanna hear the talk, a talk again, or maybe you missed some of the talks today and couldn't be with us throughout the day, they all will be available to you online on the GTI website soon. I also want to acknowledge our faculty and sponsor facilitators, Dr. Yvonne Wan from Pathology, Dr. Robert Hackman, Nutrition, Dr. David Gundry in Japanese Literature, and Dr. Shermaine Hardesty from Agriculture and Econ Econom Resource Economics, and as well as one of our event sponsors, Mr. Kyle Kettner from Horiguchi Seicha in Kagoshima, Japan. And we thank again our wonderful student moderators, Thiago Braga, Tina Tan, Jessica McCarricker, and Kerrigan Hill Wilkinson. They, you guys did a great job. We're proud of you. And of course, events like today could not be possible without the support given us from GTI's industry partners, whose representatives comprise our International Tea Advisory Committee and ensure the international vision and scope of the Global Tea Initiative. In alphabetical order, I really want to acknowledge these companies, Bitaco Unique Colombian Tea, David's Tea, Finley's Tea, Harney & Sons, HGH Hamburger Tea Handel GmbH, ITI, that is International Tea Importers, Ito N, Mighty Leaf Pete's Coffee, and Q Trade Teas and Herbs. We also want to be sure to recognize by name the individuals on our tea advisory committee who so thoughtfully advise us in our colloquia and other activities. These are Manik Jayakumar, Bhavin Shah, Santiago Gonzalez, Paul Harney, Helen Hume, Elliot Jordan, Sarah Siegel, Rona Tison, and our newest member, Marcus Wolf. We are so very grateful for your help and advice and support and encouragement. We also recognize the individuals and organizations that have sponsored today's colloquium. In addition to the TAC member companies and leaders, these event sponsors include Horiguchi Secha, Kucha House of Tea, and our GTI friends, Mr. Mohammed Hussein and Mr. John Vanderkamp. 
as I mentioned before, it takes over a full year of hard work and planning to create a conference like this. So I want to acknowledge all the hard work and support coming to us from our college dean, uh, Dr. Estella Atakwana, assistant dean Charlene Madison, events manager Crystal Masuda, and our GTI student assistant Jess McCarricker. Thank you all so much. Throughout the day, people wondered about how they might join GTI. There are various ways. If you are a faculty, staff, or student on, uh, at UC Davis, and you have a research project or interest, the Global Tea Initiative for the Study of Tea Culture and Science is open for you. Just contact me and we'll help you get, um, get on board. If you're a student um, and not quite with a research project, but just really like tea, please join our G Global Tea Club. It's a wonderful um, ASUCD organized, uh, recognized organization. <clears throat> There's another option for you if you're not part of the UC Davis community. In response to public interest in GTI, we founded the International Society for Global Tea Scholars. This organization is open to all experts and researchers from the general public on a self-nominating basis. At its core, it is useful for networking and sharing interests in research and teaching. To join, just fill in the form on the GTI website. Now, Having said that, the form is not up on the website yet. We're uh, reworking and tweaking our website, but it will be back and available to you soon. And if you're interested in supporting the Global Tea Initiative, for which we would be extremely grateful, please feel free to contact Charlene Madison or Rob Broadhurst. Um, and here are their contact in, uh, uh, in, bits of in, information, but also that information is on our website under the people and leadership categories. Of course, if you have any questions about the Global Tea Initiative itself, please feel free to contact me uh, and email me at my uh, at kpburnett at ucdavis.edu. Now we can't say goodbye until we make a big announcement about our next year's event. And this one is about our Global Tea Initiative's eighth annual colloquium. So please mark your calendars, save the date. Uh, the event will be all about tea and value, and we'll be investigating what do we value about tea and how do we value it? And how is tea uh, evaluated in the market? The event is set for Thursday, January 19th in 2023. So we look forward to seeing you all again then. In the meantime, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you next year. Bye.